Good morning, everybody. It's Corey, and um, if you're if my video seems a little dark, I apologize. I'm playing around with different areas of the house to shoot in, and playing around with lighting. Um, so to, uh, this video is just going to be an experiment. Today's video, I'm going to show you how I made a kitchen binder, and when I say kitchen binder, um, it's not like an inventory list for your pantry. It's just if you have the small kitchen appliances, like I have a little bullet dessert, um, a panini press, a, a baby cake pop maker, they all come with those fun little pamphlets and how to um, use them, fun recipes for them. And when I was growing up, my mom would get these items and the booklets would disappear. We have no idea where they went. Sometimes they were in a drawer. Sometimes they were in a, on a bookshelf. So I decided I'm going to corral them into one spot, and that is my kitchen binder. It's just a regular uh, three-ring binder. It's just one I had laying around the house. And uh, inside it, I have these um, the page the top fill page protectors that. Um, you can get it at Staples. I think you can get them at Walmart. And what I did was I just wrote whatever was going in there, like how to care for my cast iron skillets and everything. I wrote, actually wrote it on the page divider, so I know that those go back in there when I'm done. Same thing with the uh, cake pop maker. Um, it says cake pop maker right there. The crock pot, the d deep fryer, my Cuisinart um, stick blendery thing, um, my La Cruze cookware, my big ninja blender food processor combo thing, and it's worked very well. I keep, um, I keep it. They've all come out now, so I'm about to put it back together after the video. And I keep it with my cookbooks, which are right around the corner from my kitchen. So I know, if, okay, I want to see, I haven't used this appliance in a while. I'm pretty sure I remember how to use it. Or if I'm deep frying something, the deep frying manual has, okay, if you're going to fry shrimp, this is the temperature you need it at, and this is the recommended cooking time. That's always great to have on hand and you know where it is. So that's how I do that. and. They're um, filed alphabetically, so cast iron, cake pop, actually cake pop, cake pop maker should go before cast iron probably. I have a small crock pot and all that, and I've got three new things that I haven't made. Um, these, I haven't made sleeves for, and that's, uh, I actually bought a new crock pot from Rural King. It's a camo one and it was pretty cool so I bought a um, our ninja express chop I need to make one for that and then more users manuals on how to properly care for cast iron because I'm actually very scared of cast iron I'm afraid I'm going to hurt it after my husband gets it seasoned properly um, but that's one uh, one way I stay organized and feel free to use it in your own kitchen. Um, I'm sure there are a million other things you could do with a similar process. You just label the sleeves differently for whatever it is. It could be knitting patterns, crochet patterns, tatting patterns, even basics, even sewing patterns. You have to use the McCall, McCall or McCann um, pattern packets. You can keep them like that if you wanted. But uh, that's just an idea, and I hope you uh, enjoy the video. Thanks. Nice